When I first arrived in Ghana, to, to be honest with you, I said, what am I doing here? Like, what can I really contribute, you know? So I, I certainly had my fears, because um, we the work we we're going to be doing certainly came with its share of dangers. Yet, as soon as we got in there, as soon as we started hitting the road and, and, uh, and started to meet with the kids that were, that were being rescued, being rehabilitated, being reintegrated into society, Working alongside those those activists, uh, their strength became my own, and it was extraordinary. We're trying to rescue some children we have already identified here. Yes. I was out in the field for about three days. The first day out on the lake where we would perform rescue missions, um, where what their work entails is finding the families of the kids who are enslaved and letting their families know what's going on because you can't really just go into a situation and take a child. You have to know where that child is ultimately going to end up and does that child have a family or a community that's going to support him. We have the capacity to take at least 20 boys. I was not part of a, a rescue that, that actually freed a child. Um, we had the child, we are taking pictures with the kid and you know the whole community was there to see and it was apparently set up that today was the day we were going to come and get the child but the chief of the village and the, and the owner had mysteriously disappeared and, and within minutes, other community members locked the child away in a hut and dead bolted the lock and we were standing there helpless. <laughs> when I first arrived at the, at the shelter, the kids were applauding us and singing songs for us and, and it, it just showed me that it doesn't take too much time for a child once he's free to return to being a child. And I had kids hanging all over me and draping from my arms and and that was proof that the work they're doing is, is extraordinary. So I was extremely optimistic about how they're doing it because you would think that a child who's been beaten and forced to work may not want to come close to another stranger, an adult. It became very real to me, you know, and also seeing that, that slavery still exists in our world, that too became very real to me. So it, it it was my first time in West Africa, but it probably won't be my last. Freedom, freedom, oh. Let the children teach you freedom. Freedom. Smile, you can feel in your heart beat. Freedom, freedom, oh. oh. Well, it's all for you, all for you, all for you, all for you. Freedom.